Hello everybody and welcome to the Apollo 50th anniversary week. Yes, 50 years ago, to this day, to this hour, to this almost minute, the Apollo 11 mission launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida in the United States. And well, I have decided to celebrate this anniversary with a few missions that I will release during the course of that mission. So some video will come out today that you're watching right now. And a few ones will come out up until July 24th, if everything goes according to plan. And what you see here is I recreated the rocket, the launch tower, the mobile launcher platform and the crawler. And thanks to the robotic parts in the breaking ground expansion, I can now do this and add a suspension that keeps the platform level for this behemoth of a rocket. Well, that was rather tedious to be honest and well, it did not help that the rocket assembly and tower and so had more than 1200 parts. So you can imagine that this took quite a while. Six and a half hours later. Yeah, and finally we are at the launch pad. Well, in reality the entire crawler thing took hours to transport the rocket just from the hangar for the other vehicle assembly building to the launch pad on the space center. But they had to make sure that this expensive and very important piece of hardware did not tip over or anything else bad happened to it. So I would try to do the same over here. But as it looks like, the launch pad is not stable enough for this amount of pressure. Hmm. Well, that looks salvageable. Well, the crawler doesn't. That's toast. But the rocket? Well, we can use that again, shall we? Again! All right, here it is in all of its beauty on the launch pad. Yes, we now have our rocket erected over here. And with some other robotic parts, we are going to make way for it to launch and not crash into that crane and other girder segments. And of course, the crew consisting of three brave Kerbals that will go where no Kerbal has gone before. Well, actually, they have. It's Kerbal Space Program. Everybody has been to the moon, right? Okay, our pilot makes his way towards the capsule and so do the other brave Kerbonauts that will blast off in a few minutes or seconds rather in this vehicle. The access ramp is gone, the engines are ignited and we are launching! Yes, look at that. That is magnificent, if I might say so myself. And yeah, I have to admit, it took quite a few hours to build this, to be honest. But it's even more satisfying to see it work like that. Alright, this is just your basic ascent. We're going to dive out of the atmosphere and then there are some stage separations. First we're going to shut down the center engines, as did the real Saturn V. And now we're separating our stage, first stage that is, and then of course we're separating the interstage. There we go! That was a tricky bit to make it like that, but I'm glad it turned out how it did. Alright, second stage on its way towards space. And the launch tower is now gone, we don't need that anymore. And after the second stage is spent, of course, we're going to our third stage. In reality of the Saturn V, this was the S-4B translunar injection stage, which was also used to finalize the orbit around Earth before the astronauts burned towards the moon. And we're going to do the same here. All right, after one victory lap around our planet, we're going to do our burn coming right up after the next sunset, which is here. And yes, um, 
have you actually seen that movie Apollo 11? Uh, it was in cinemas in the US a few months ago and now it's finally released across Europe in select cinemas, unfortunately only. I was lucky enough to uh, catch a screening over here where I live and it was magnificent. To see all of that real footage of what happened was fantastic. And speaking of what happened, we're going to happen over here. Uh, what's going to happen over here is that we're going to transpose, extract and fly away with our lunar lander. Yes, that was the standard maneuver with the Apollo missions. They had to separate the service and command module, then dock back to the lunar module or the lunar excursion module rather, and then pull that out of third stage fairing. And that's what we're going to do right here. And I have used again robotic parts to make this petal shape over here. To be honest, it was a lot trickier to make this stable and not fly away during flight than what it looked like. Um, but yeah, I'm glad it turned out how it did. And we are now well on our way towards the moon and of course have to use our service module stage to fire it up and circularize. And after our carbonauts have transferred to the lunar module, that is now separating and descending towards the surface. And it also has a little bit of a special payload with it. If you have very keen eyes, you might have already guessed what it is behind that uh, round tank. But for now, we're going to start our descent maneuver. All right, this is standard fare as usual. So I'm going to skip ahead to the landing. And after we touch down safely with a very, very slim margin of fuel, because this is rather heavy, yes. We are deploying a rover once again with robotic parts and that managed to uh, store that thing inside of that uh, lunar module. All right, and now that we are outside or that the pilots are outside, they can now take a little stroll in their moon rover. Of course, it needs power, so we have some solar sails, uh, solar panels, of course. And then we're driving around and having some fun destroying our solar panel. But yeah, we're not going to drive around any longer because we want to go home. There we go, separation successful. And yeah, that's also just a regular ascent. And then getting back to the service module. What I wanted to show off here was this entire launch tower assembly and what you could do with the robotic parts in regards to a Apollo recreation mission. So this was rather more one of the later Apollo missions with the lunar rovers because of course Apollo 11 did not have a lunar rover on board. Yes, and we have now docked back with the service module. We're going to leave the ascent module over here after we have transferred the crew back again. And then of course it's time to head back home. So no surprises here. Really standard fare of a mission, but this is also more of a warm up. So I'm really trying to, to make this very simple mission just in the spirit of the Apollo 50th anniversary, but there will be a lot more Kerbal things to come in the next few days and weeks. Well, not weeks, in this week. Alright, separation successful. And now we are diving into the atmosphere while we watch the service module burn in the upper cloud layers. Of course, our heat shield is protecting us and after we have managed to get out of the hot bit of the atmosphere, we can finally deploy our parachutes that are hiding in here. There they are! Hi guys! Alright, after I deployed the main chutes, I cut the drogue chutes, as was also the case with the real thing. And since we have three of these, it's way enough to make this splash down safely. So, first installment of my Apollo 50th week thingy is over. I hope you like this. 
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.